Okay, what we're going to talk about next is not necessarily the best six flies there is because that's just covering too much of a broad spectrum here. These are the six flies that I will always have in my fly vest. And we'll go shortly into that. And they will be the Stimulator, Elkir Caddis, Comparadun, Gold Rib Hair's Ear, Pheasant Tail, and Larva. By having these in different sizes and also different colors, I can imitate a wide range of insects that exist in any given trout stream. And we'll first start out with the Stimulator. The Stimulator is a very good um, imitation for stoneflies. I tie it from a size 16 on up, but also it imitates hoppers and, and caddises very well. And if you can tie this a different color here, it's tied in olive, but you can tie them in black and brown and in gray. Next one up is the Elkhair Caddis. The elk hair caddis obviously um, represents or imitates uh, caddises. And again, you can tie this in different colors and different sizes to to uh, match whatever's on the river right there. Uh, when the yellow sallies are out, we'd like to tie a little bright yellow spot at the tag end of the, the shank there to imitate the oviposting female caddises. But it's a very good pattern to use. And the third fly is the Comparadun. I have it tied here in CDC. The Comparadun obviously imitates mayflies. And here I have it tied in a blue wing olive. The CDC means that it's a duck butt feather. It's, it's a material that's pretty available out there. But by changing the colors in this particular pattern, you can imitate a lot of stuff. For example, if it's a PMD, you, you tie it with the yellow abdomen, thorax, so forth and so on. Trichos, all black. It just depends what you're going to be uh, targeting and the insect you want to represent. Okay, you notice that these are dries and these are nymphs. Uh, let's go into the nymphs now. First one up, gold ribbed hare's ear. The gold ribbed hare's ear, uh, its greatest strength is that it imitates a lot of different insect species and you can tie it in a lot of different sizes. Uh, mayflies, you tie it from uh, size 16 on up to whatever you want to. Uh, stoneflies, you could have them in different colors. You could have them, whether brown stones, black stoneflies, or yellow sallies. It, work, it works very well uh, for imitating insect species. Next fly on the agenda, pheasant tail. A pheasant tail is one of my favorite flies, and I, it's really a go-to fly that I fish quite often. Here it's tied in a bead head. Again, this fly here can imitate a lot of insect species, whether you're fishing it right in the film surface or weighted down below uh, uh, deep nymphing. It's, it's a good little fly. It imitates stoneflies, mayflies. It's a good pattern to have, and it's one of my favorites. And last fly is a larva. The larvas can be either midge larvas or caddis larvas. And the color of the particular larva is dependent on the species that's in the water, as is also the size. For midges, this is where you tie, for example, like the desert storm, like the zebra midge and stuff like that. For caddises, this right here was tied in tan with a bead head, but you can tie them in different colors and it's a very effective uh, fly to, to use for searching out uh, trout. Probably the one greatest strength that these flies here have is not that they imitate one thing well, is that they imitate a lot of insects very well in the river. And you just have to be knowledgeable what's in the river and how to match it with uh, what's in your vest. And you will have 
uh, a pretty good arsenal here any place you go granted some of the rivers you have to take particular patterns for example if you go to the san juan here in new mexico you have to bring midge patterns period um but other than that, these will work well too. I've used larvas in the San Juan and I use pheasant tails in the San Juan and comparadons in the San Juan. But this is a very good selection of flies that I will use uh, for my vest.